Today I am going to show you how to put a decal on a jar. Um, I use water slide paper, which you can just use in a normal inkjet printer. Um, so, um, and this is a just an old pickle jar that I spray painted. Um, the lid I painted black, and then the jar I painted white. Um, and now I'm just going to put decals on here to show what's going. I'm going to put them in the jar. I'm Tamara. This is Anything is Possible. Thank you for joining today. It's just a real quick and easy video. Um, I'm not going to show you how to spray paint the jar. Um, there's a lot of YouTube videos other people have done on spray painting objects and there's nothing to it. You just uh, get spray paint. This is glossy white and paint it. <laughs> And until you're happy with the results. Um, I used oil base and so it took about 24 hours for the jar to stop being tacky. So um, just to show you what the water slide paper looks like it comes in a package just like uh, photo paper. Um, these are the instructions and um, I'll try and find a link where you can send for it. Um, but it looks like glossy photo paper, but it's actually decals. And so um, you put it in your printer and you print whatever it is you want out. And I just use part of a sheet. And then you cut as close as you can to your design or your artwork or whatever it is that you printed. I'm just making a label for this jar with the instructions. Um, I use Drops laundry detergent. It comes in these little pods that you throw in the wash load and don't have to deal with uh, plastic bottles and all that. So I just thought rather than having it sitting there in a cardboard box, I would do this with the pickle jar. So what I did first, um, after cutting this out, I um, took my tape measure and I just did a, real quickly just a little mark on the jar. I did a um, you know top and bottom in a couple of places so I have something to align to um, and marked it with a pencil which can be erased later. You'll need a pan of water and you need um, a damp cloth and of course your scissors for cutting it out but we're done with that. And then I'm just going to lay this out a little bit to see exactly where I want these letters to go before it gets wet. Because once you've dipped it in the water, it, uh, they, they're very thin actually. They're just like, like skin almost, the decals. So, you know, we'll just kind of center it on there. I think, you know, get that kind of... We'll do one at a time, but there's plenty of room for this label. So, so after you've printed it out, what you do is you spray with um, clear Krylon spray. Um, I did three coats, and um, that seals the ink on there. The ink from the inkjet printer is not—it's uh, just water soluble. So when you dip it in the water, it would just dissolve off unless you sprayed it with Krylon. So we'll just follow along with the instructions here. But I'm going to start with this. And you have a pan of water and you just dip it in there. And let it soak for a few seconds. And at a certain point you'll be able to touch it and you'll feel it just beginning to kind of slip not slipping yet. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the next one in there too. You can use any font. You can you can do graphics. Um, I just wanted to have a label so that's why I did this. Get those out of the way for now. now let's see. It's not starting to slip yet. There we go. All of a sudden, 
it will just slip. I'm going to get the jar right down here. And put the decal on there as straight as we can. And then take a damp cloth and make sure that there's no bubbles or anything and it's on there really good. Let's see how the laundry is there. That one's gone too. Okay, so we just kind of center it as best we can, eyeball it. with that. You gotta make sure you print onto the shiny side. It doesn't take too long, just about 30 seconds or so. And then on the opposite side, I'm gonna put the instructions. So that will be the opposite side right there. Mark that. Yep, there goes that one. kind of an old-fashioned looking jar and then I'll put this on the other side so oh, there you go that's that and then on the other side has the instructions it's just easy as it can be um, but it comes out with a really cool look to it. Um, and it is a little bit water resistant. You know, you wouldn't want to soak this in water. Um, I put some on some flower pots and they got outside and, and what happened really was the ink just faded away. It wasn't that the decal necessarily really gave way, it was that the ink faded. So they're not really suitable for going outside but for inside use like this, um, it's perfect. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, you know, you'll probably have fun playing around with it and doing all kinds of projects, but uh, if you don't have a cry cut or a cameo, the Prince decals, like you see a lot of the um, DIY channels, I, you know, they're very expensive and I don't do that much lettering. So the water slide paper is just an awesome solution and you have to look really close to be able to see the edges oops now I missed that up of the decal it's just still wet we need to not mess around with it while it's wet but it'll dry and it'll be permanently on there so that's it um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe um, I'm not a real regular poster, but I post when I have something fun and interesting that I think I'd like to share. And um, never know. Thanks for watching. Bye.